about Dorsky. Look at what we got. We got a box. Let's do it. Tackle warehouse order came in. They had another clearance. I'm a sucker for like clearance sales. Anything on clearance, I'm gonna get it. We got another hat. 13 fishing. It's on clearance. And I said, you know what? <clears throat> that first one didn't fit. You know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to find a damn lucky fishing hat. Lucky fishing hat. Okay. And look. Lucky 13. So, what's going to get any luckier than that? What's going to get any luckier than that? This one fits. It's a little bit tight, but, you know, at least maybe it's not going to blow off when I'm out there fishing. It's not going to blow off on the four-wheeler and I'm going to lose it like I did the other day. But let's move on. Dude, what y'all think? You like the hat? You like the Lucky 13? I don't know why this is on clearance. I'm not going to tell you what I paid for it because it's embarrassing. But if y'all like Lucky 13 fishing and you dig this flat bill hat, go over there and get them before they're gone because I think they're pretty good hats. and They got them on a great deal. But uh, Tackle Warehouse has got some sales going on. And like I said... I buy it and then I buy like enough money to get the free shipping deal because I don't want to pay shipping. And let me just unbox this and then uh, we'll go through and see what we got. I'm really kind of excited about this reflex jig here. It's kind of small. I got these soft baits that were like already opened and they're basically giving them away. And I'm like, fine, I'll take them. Because, uh, they were pretty cheap. These guys here, I thought like these things are gonna be like live target sunfish, you know. So I got a bunch of them, and they're like, when I get them and I open them up and I look at them and I see what they are, they make me think of like uh, what is it, the short bus? This is like the short bus fish. But that's okay. I think all these soft plastics I got on clearance or something. I can't remember. These were used. I got to use or discontinued because the bag's not open. Fortified with bite juice. It looks like that tail is going to have some pretty good action. Tiny pack of chunk. I got some of these pack of chunks and like some of these little small medium bugs pork fat cooked in I would eat that man what are you talking about fish are gonna eat that another tiny pack of chunk with uh, like little legs on it it's gonna flop around and I got those to use these jigs here and like this one reflex jig when this wears out I'm gonna throw one of these uh, baby bugs on it and one of these smaller crawls and give that a shot I got a couple white ones here three-quarter ounce and three-eighths ounce everybody's saying white's a good color I don't know we'll give it a shot here's some more of those trailers we got these using these jigs small ones that's cool that's a good order right there let's see what what brought me to tackle warehouse was buying these drop shot hooks oh look at that i qualified for a free sticker this time yeah, you see that that's good that's going on the truck there another truck sticker I went over there to get these drop shot hooks, but I wasn't really paying attention to what size I was getting this great in it. And, uh, 
I got these. I thought I had another pack of them. I should have like two packs, but I don't see them now. I saw them earlier. All right, so I found these uh, drop shot hooks that brought me over there to Tackle Warehouse. Somebody said they had them pretty cheap. They do. They're like $2.99 a pack. And uh, I got a couple different sizes because I may target some different species of fish with these. Even like pan fish or something with these to see if I can get better hook sets. Because I don't want bluegill and stuff like swallowing the hook because I... You know, sometimes I want to just catch them and throw them back. But I'm going to start catching them for uh, cut bait for catfish. And uh, these right here I'll use for bass. I like rigging a worm on there on a drop shot. I've got a couple rigged up over here. And I really like that um, hook. It's a cool hook. It gives a great presentation basically sticking out like that when you hold the weight down and uh, I got one standard hook I got this one wacky rig on a weedless but I've heard people complain that this little weed guard interferes in hookups and uh, I'm just I'm excited to use this little sucker right here but these baby shad were two dollars a piece so I'm like let me get a bunch of different colors and I'll just clip them all and see if I can get a hit on one of them. Hollow body, just like the live target, but they're two bucks. They don't look as sexy as the live target. They don't. They don't have that little perfect molded shape of a sunfish. They look like the little short bus fish. But you know what? How picky is a bass going to be? And I'm not buying 10 live target frogs to get one of every color, you know? Because that'd be like, that'd be about 40 bucks there, okay? <clears throat> but now I got one of every color of this little short bus fish here. We'll see how it goes. Top water. I'm going to give these guys a shot in this Furbit series frog. Look at that. He's got like a little rat tail and a spinner on there this thing's gonna churn some water and make a fuss so i got him let's see all right i paid a little bit of money for the frog paid a little bit of money for the furbit frog and we'll we'll, we'll just have to see if he's worth it or not but that's a nine dollar one there that's like the most expensive thing i bought in the box i think but look at the tail on that sucker man I mean, what's going to hit that? That's freaking real fur. The bass is going to think like a freaking rabbit has jumped in the lake. And he's like, he's like, I'm going to eat that rabbit. It's not a rabbit, but it's a, you know, what is it? It's got fur on the back of it and a spinner blade. And a little weight. You imagine how this thing's going to cast? It's going to cast fantastic. Look at that. Freaking venom. Furbit series optimum baits power. What? Furbit series optimum bait companies furry amphibian family Furbit the Frog and Poppin' Furbit. Ideal rabbit fur legs. Furbit's legs ripple and flutter in a manner that Synthetic rubber or plastic legs never will. Flaring hair is perfect for stop and go technique. Features a molded in belly weight and weighs 5 eighths of an ounce. Sealed off weight keeps water out and eliminates extra tuning. Equipped with a 6 owner extra wide gap hook, allowing full body depression and ensuring a good hook set. Furbit Sports. A number three Colorado blade while popping Furbit has a number three willow blade attached. So Furbit should have number three. What says it say? No, this is Optum baits here. We know that's a Furbit there. That's a good looking bait, man. 
I like it. Uh, if there's a bass around, I don't know why he wouldn't eat that thing. I mean, that is crazy. Rabbit hide for his little legs. That's pretty neat. Furby the Frog Tackle Warehouse. <clears throat> they got good deals. I got a baby umbrella rig here. That's my first umbrella rig. I've never fished them. But I know people catching striper on them. And it's a trolling rig, so that's one of the things I'm going to try when I go out to the lake. I'm going to try the baby umbrella rig. This is like umbrella rig covers for big daddy umbrella rigs. Which is probably what I need to get. But these will cover it up while it's on your reel so it's not flopping all over the place and like taking up your whole kayak or whatnot. Hey, see, I got this painted. I didn't have to go to Home Depot. I found some gloss black paint. So, you know, this isn't gloss. This is uh, satin. So I got the whole bottom half of this painted satin, basically. And these two extensions here start with gloss black, which that's fine. Black's black. If I want to blend it in, I'll just blend it in.